Good afternoon. It's Marvin Rotran, City Councilor of Montreal, addressing the Tamil community in our city, throughout the province of Quebec and beyond. Today is a special day. We commemorate the Tamil genocide, the 150,000 people and more who died during the Civil War in Sri Lanka. It should not be forgotten, 11 years after the end of this war, that most of those who died were civilians. There have been some positive efforts to build reconciliation since 2009, but for every step forward, there also seems to be one to go backwards. We have talked about a lessons learned and conciliation commission, which should have provoked major political change. It hasn't led to that. We've talked about a federal solution in Sri Lanka that would open the door to full citizenship to every Sri Lankan, whether Senegalese, Muslim, or Tamil. There is much work that remains to be done. Let us not forget Sri Lanka was born with great promise of a country open to all its residents. And yet, in its first years, Sri Lanka stripped hundreds of thousands of residents of their citizenship, claiming they were foreigners, even though they, they were born there. Sri Lanka deported hundreds of thousands of Tamils to India, and Sri Lanka refused to make Tamil an official language. Even today, with some progress, much remains to be done in this country. But for the diaspora, we should not forget the violence of the Civil War and the accusations that still stand unanswered against the Sri Lankan army for war crimes and genocide, charges that are made by credible world organizations like Human Rights Watch, charges that are backed by some of the instances of the United Nations. We need answers and we need leadership from the government of Sri Lanka. To the community, I give you my solidarity today. I believe Canada has much more to play a role to play in this matter and that Canadian leadership can help facilitate dialogue that will lead to a lasting peace and a sense of shared citizenship by everyone who lives in Sri Lanka. I thank everyone today for the invitation to address you and let us not forget what happened in the past and let us look towards the future.